Hi, I'm Kristen from FemCycles.com and today I'm going to review the Troy Lee Designs A1 MIPS helmet. This is the latest mountain bike helmet I have been testing out for you guys. It is an enduro helmet, meaning it has this extended rear of the head coverage, um, which I really appreciate. It gives you extra safety out on the trail. It also has a MIPS liner. Um, that gives you protection in case you fall and have a rotational impact to your head, which is more likely to happen on a mountain bike. Um, it's just going to give you one extra layer of protection for your brain. Highly recommend choosing a mountain bike helmet with MIPS. One thing to note for long haired ladies, if that's you, you may get your hair snagged on a MIPS liner. That is just reality with a MIPS liner helmet. Um, long haired ladies also note because of the extended rear of the head coverage, there's just not as much room for a ponytail. So you've got to put your ponytail way at the nape of your neck. If you are looking for a more ponytail friendly helmet, this is not it, look elsewhere. But I personally think it's worth dealing with any ponytail issues to have that extended rear of the head coverage. Beyond safety, I think the next most important thing is just how comfortable a helmet is. Are you gonna be able to wear it for hours and have a good fit? And for me personally, the answer with this helmet is yes. It's been comfortable and fit well. It has a rear fit dial that works really well to get it cinched down. One thing I will note though is this little wheel isn't very big and it was hard to operate with gloves on. So um, that dial wasn't my favorite, but not a big deal. Around the ears here, we have some adjustments to get the V directly beneath your ear. I don't like this as much as the POC helmets, for instance, that just have an adjustment free strap there. But again, that's a personal preference. It has a traditional style buckle. The padding inside is nice and comfortable. Um, I personally did not have any pressure points with this helmet or anything that made it uncomfortable. I rode it, uh, rode with it for some like four hour rides, never had any issue. Because it is an extended enduro style helmet, it's just not gonna be as breathable as a road helmet or a more minimalistic mountain bike helmet. That said, I feel like they've done a really good job with ventilation on this helmet. You can see how nice and large these ventilation holes are. And they're also nicely distributed around the helmet. So I've been testing it um, between like 40 and 65 degrees. Been very comfortable with it on those temperature days and haven't gotten a sweaty head. If you are riding say in 120 degrees in the Phoenix summer, this may not be the most comfortable helmet. You may want to look for something else. For everybody else, I feel like this has plenty of breathability and ventilation. It's got a pretty nice big visor on it. I felt like I had lots of protection from the sun for my eyes and my face. The only thing worth noting is there isn't a lot of um, room for adjustment. This is a tiny, tiny little up down motion here. So if you're planning on wearing the helmet with goggles, there's not really space to put your goggles right here. If you are riding with sunglasses like I was, no problem. There are three adjustment screws. And like many other mountain bike helmets I have tested, when you ride on rocky or rattling terrain, these do shake loose. And at the end of my rides, I had to make sure to tighten them down. That's not really unique to this helmet, but it is something to be aware of. And at some point you're probably going to lose a visor screw. Now it's important to note that this helmet doesn't have any really cool extras. It doesn't have a GoPro mount. It doesn't have goggle clips. It doesn't have the Rico technology, but for a helmet that is $140, this is pretty standard. Um, unless you want to spend 200 plus dollars for a helmet to get all those extras, we think that this is a great choice and, and there's nothing there that you're really going to miss. Overall, I've got to say this is one of my favorite enduro style mountain bike helmets. Uh, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, it's got good ventilation, and most importantly, it's got that rear of the head coverage and MIPS technology to help keep you safe. If you want to learn more about the Troy Lee Designs A1 MIPS helmet, Head on over to Fem Cyclist where we have a written review and some photos for you guys. We also have a guide 
to other mountain bike helmets that you might like even better. So go check that out. We've got more reviews and a comparison chart for you at femcyclist.com. Please go ahead and hit subscribe so you get notified when we post future reviews and tips and tricks and inspirational stories, content to help you have more fun riding your bike. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.